Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Rayman 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. The alarm's going off, they're after us, so Rayman's just standing around playing basketball with his body. Because that's what you do when there's a bunch of bad guys after you. Anyways, let's get this barrel baddie guy. Get over here, barrel baddie guy. Wow, he was a no threat whatsoever. So whatever. Alright. Those barrels flattened us to a pancake. It does not look like we need to bounce on them to get anything. That appears to be a path. What's further down this way? Anything? It does not look like it. Alright, let's get out of here. We're not gonna let them catch us. Not again. Not like when we were caught at the start of the game. So we're gonna wanna remember that powdered keg for later. Those barrel guys are so easy in this. In the PlayStation 1 version of the game, like, once you hit them, they can't be hit again for like a few seconds. Alright, so there's a cage down. There's a lum over a terrible pit of death. Yep, terrible pit of death. Just wanted to show that. And back here, we have a little web we can climb across, or use the platform. Why would we use the platform when we could use the web? Because you can't use the web when you're carrying a powdered keg. So, let's get back here. Before we actually get that powdered keg, I'm just gonna head up this way and collect some more stuff. Cuz I can. Hello! Barrel guy sneak attack. This is our last cage, and it's not a teensy. So, how the heck do we exit this level? Isn't that strange? No teensy cage. see one more lum over here. Where's the one we're missing? I know we haven't been everywhere in this level yet, but I still don't like it when there's only one lum left. Is it in here? No, this is just the end of the level. Then it must be behind that door that we needed the powdered keg for. At least it better be. Because if I missed one on the chair ride, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Alright. 
right, unfortunately we can't move very fast while carrying stuff, but we want to go this way because there is a hole on the path to the left. We can't really jump with our powdered keg here. Then we gotta ride the platform across. So get back here, platform! And then we're gonna wanna get off the platform before it turns over, like you saw it do there. Still don't know what the point of that platform is. Doesn't really seem to have one. And inside this door is our final lum, a stronger fist, and a teensy on a throne. So all good things. Now we just have to lead this teensy all the way way to the portal, or, you know, we can get attacked by a little fan blade, and now the portal's probably already activated. At least it better be. If I have to go back for that teensy again... Okay, it is already activated. I actually prefer it that way then, because it would have taken a while to walk them all the way over there. <laughs> but now, we get the completionist's shame of having to do the gosh darn bonus level. Let's hope my arm doesn't fall off. What way is he going this time? He's going this way again. I mean, look how long I have to keep this up for. And this is only the fourth running path. The fifth one is still to come, and honestly, I'm not sure if I ever beat the fifth one in my life. I might have. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't, though. On. I'm losing it. My arm hurts. No! My goodness. My arm just can't handle. And apparently my foot can't either. It feels like my toe's going to sleep. That's weird. Anyways, Isle of Doors. Why is my toe going to sleep? I don't like that. Okay, heading on to the Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. Or are we? <laughs> weird how the teensies didn't greet us at the door, but look over here, we got Lee again. Here you can win life force and power, and you have enough lums to go there. Well, we've already done the walk of life, so now it's time for the walk of power. And there is no Lum directly behind us, okay. I guess that only happens in the PlayStation 1 version of the game. So yeah, if meeting the Walk of Life 
gave us more max health, then the Walk of Power is, of course, gonna give us a stronger fist, which we already have, but it'll at least give it to us for one more hit. And besides, we need to get these lumps anyways. Oh no, not more Frogger. Oh no. You have not seen my Frogger Let's Play. Just trust me, it is a ridiculously hard game. Frogger 2 shouldn't be anywhere near as bad though, but I haven't got around to doing a Let's Play of that yet. Here we are at the end. Yahoo, indeed. Yay! You made it, Rayman. Well done, Rayman. That was very fast. I think you deserve a more powerful shot. Why, thank you. Now, let's actually go play um, the Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. Because, you know, it's so different from the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire, right? I mean, the Sanctuary of, of Water and Ice was at least, you know, not the same temperature theme. Um, so yeah, let's lose that powerful shot immediately. <laughs> and we did lose it immediately. Because we were off looking at the scenery while some chicken zombies decided to attack. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I guess we go into here. I was thinking we were gonna go to that branch over there, but I guess not. Oh, now we do. We glide down to there from here. And we get bit by a piranha that knocks us into uh, Attack, even Razorbeard is scared of you plant food. Hey, look at those antennas. And it's that thing we saw in the Marshes of Awakening. Oh my gosh. Wow, depth perception was really bad there. There we go. I don't know what the heck's up with these bouncing eyes. They were near the entrance to the Cave of Bad Dreams, too. And we can see it 
cage under that platform. And it looks like it's a cage we needed to break because it gives us a purple alum to get across. And hey, look, it seems like every time we lose a more powerful fist, we find another one shortly after. So, one of the bosses that was added to the PlayStation 2 version of this game, you fight right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you fight the other two bosses on, in the hub world. Because like I said, the PlayStation 2 version of the game has a hub world. Anyways, now that we are in this crazy place, I think it's time to end the video here. So, I'm the Terminian Hero, and in the next video... That was rude, Rayman! Anyways, in the next video, we will actually go through the inside of the Sanctuary of Rack and Lava. So I will see you then. Stop it!